Who will do, tiddly peeps? I'm Hubba Hubba, talking to you from Hoobland, and I'm about to send four of my favourite hoobs down to Earth to find out all about you for my great Hoobopedia. Here they come! You know who the hoobs are? Ivor, Groove, and Tula! We're hoobs! And they're ready to go. Things we want to know. Hey! Holla Hollas in Hoobland and Rome is somewhere far away. The motorettes are singing. We keep the engine spinning. Hoop Hoop Hooray! The Hoop Hoop is coming your way. Oh! Hey! The Hoops are here so Question for Hoob News. Let me think. What is the. No, 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 no. Um, where is a. No, 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 no. Why is it that. Oh. Hoobble Doop Tula! Hoobble Doop Ivor! What are you doing? I'm trying to think of a question for Hoob News. Oh, so am I. <laughs> Where's Groove? He's out collecting stones for his collection of things not shaped like fruit. Oh. Tula! Ivor! He's back. Tula, either. Oh. We're here. Uh, uh, have I missed it? What? what? Well, who news? Oh, of course not. We haven't even thought of a question yet. Oh, yeah, I, I was sure I'd missed it. Why? 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 Because I got lost. Lost? Mm. I was out collecting stones for my things not shaped like fruit collection, and when I looked up, I couldn't see the Hoobmobile. I shouted and shouted, but you couldn't hear me. I thought I'd never find my way back. Oh, poor you. You needed to have something with you that would make a noise louder than a shout, so we could hear you. Uh, then we would have come out to find you. Yeah, you're right. So what can Groove take with him when he's out collecting that will make a loud noise? Hubba, 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 hubba. Oh, hubba. that's hubba, hubba. <laughs> that must be the question. What can Groove take with him when he's out collecting that will make a loud noise? That's a fan tabby hooby question for Hoob News. Oh, thank you, Hubba Hubba. And it's something hoobs everywhere will want to know the answer to. I'll email Roma and ask her to keep her eye out for something loud. There must be hoob loads of loud things on Hoobnet. Yes, and here come some particularly loud ones now. Bells hoobs. That's what these are and there are lots of them. And if you listen carefully, you can hear them ringing now. See, there's a bell high up on top of a church. There's a bigger bell outside a church. And here's an enormous bell that weighs almost as much as a hoobo cacto spider. That's what you need, Groove, a bell. If you got lost and rang a bell, we'd be sure to hear you. That really big one would be hooby groovy. Ah, yes, It but... certainly would be very loud. Yeah, the louder the better, eh, too loud? <laughs> yes, but it's, it's just what you need. Yeah. But it's too heavy. Is it? Don't you remember? Hubba Hubba said that those bells weigh as much as a full-grown hoobo cacto spiker. Oh, that's no problem either. <laughs> I'll go and see what he's up to. Hmm. Ah, there we go. One fully grown Hubo Cacto Spiker. Right then. Ah. Ah. Ruth, what are you doing? Ah. If this plant weighs the same as a big bell, I'm going to lift this to prove that ah, it's too heavy to take out with me when I'm ah. collecting. Oh, um, now what? Oh, it's it's hubba hubba. Oh, great. Who will do, Tula? 
No. Where are the others? Um, uh... um, we're here, Hubba Hubba. Uh, Groove was just seeing if he could lift a Hubo Cacto spiker. Ooh, and could he? No. I... <sighs> if that's what a church bell weighs, then it's too heavy for me to take with me collecting. <laughs> hmm. I once tried to lift a Hubo Cacto spiker. Yeah? I don't like this for a week! <laughs> Is there another kind of bell Groove could take with him? I have to say, I'm not as bell smart as I ought to be. Oh. Hmm. Do you think the Tiddly Peeps might know? I do indeed. Good idea, Tula. Then let's go and find some. I'll drive. And I'll ask the questions. Let's get those motorettes singing! Seabelt, Ivor. Yes? We're, We're off to, to see, see the Tiddly Peeps! peeps. See the tiddly peeps on the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. They're smart. They're fun. They know. The tiddly peeps, the tiddly peeps help us find things out. They give us clues. They tell us news. That's what they're all about. We're off to see the tiddly peeps on the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. They're smart. They're fun. They know. The tiddly peeps, the tiddly peeps. If we need to know who, what, where, why, when, and how. Tiddly peeps. Who will do great? Do you want to do a hooby hello? Yes. Who will do? Who will do? Now, I've got a really, really important question to ask you. What's that? I need to know what sort of bells you use. We don't really use bells, Groove. Huh? Oh. We don't. Oh, that's a shame. I was rather hoping that you did. We do use doorbells. Doorbells? Yes. When we go to other people's houses. You do? Oh, that's really hooby groovy. <laughs> so what's a doorbell then? It's a bell that tells you if someone's at the door and wants to come in. Wait there. I'll show you. Uh -huh. Where's Flora gone? Wait, listen. Oh. <gasps> hooby galooby. <laughs> Tula, Ivor, did you hear that? Yes, yes. thank you. What's it called again? A doorbell. Yeah, that's it, a doorbell. Ivor, order a doorbell from Hoobnet. Definitely sounds like the kind of bell we're after. Hey, thanks, Tiddly Peeps. You've been a big help. Anytime, Groove. Hoobble Toodle Do. Hoobble Toodle Do. <laughs> hmm. This doorbell should do the trick. Groove can take this bit with him and ring it when he needs us to know where he is. Oh, yes, the doorbell's the thing for me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tula. <laughs> oh, that's good. Not too heavy. <laughs> Try it out, then, Groove. Take it away from the bus and start to ring it, and then we'll come out and find you. Who be groovy? <laughs> Hoobble Toodle do. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> um, we just have to wait for him to ring it now. I'm sure he'll do it soon. Mm. Yes, but when? When? Oh, when? When? Oh, when? Oh, when? 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 Oh, 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 when? No. Oh, Hoobie, bother, Tula! Oh, Ooh. it's ringing in here and Groove's not in here. The... Oh. Where were you? I pressed and pressed the doorbell and nothing happened. <sighs> ah, that's better. The problem is, Groove, the bell rang in here and you weren't in here. No, I, I was out there. So it didn't tell us where you were. Roma, Roma, Roma. Never mind, Groove. Here comes Roma. Maybe she has the answer. Who will do poops? Who will do Roma? No. Hubba Hubba emailed me to see what I could find out about bells. So, here I am at a campanologist's club. What's a campanologist, Roma? Uh, it's someone who likes camping. <laughs> no, Groove. Ha! It's someone who likes to really ring a bell. Now, as you can see, 
Bell ringers come in all shapes and sizes, and so do their bells. Every size makes a different sound. Different sound? What's that, Roma? So groove when they put them all together, they make a fan tabby hooby tune. <sighs> oh, isn't that the most hoobacious thing uh, you ever heard? Yeah. Now, I found this one and thought I might have a gentle tinkle myself. Hoobal tune'll do. Hoobal tune'll do. Hoobie galooby. I need a handbell. <laughs> it's not too heavy and rings wherever I am and not in the Hoobmobile. I'll order one for you right away, Groove. Oh, thank you, Ivor. Oh, Tula, I can't wait to try out a handbell. <laughs> I know it's the bell for me. I am irreplaceable and so I must be traceable. You always need to know my whereabouts. I can tell that a bell would do the job so well and save Ivor and Tula all the shouts. Because you need to know where I am if we're ever in a jam. I can ding it up for all of you to hear when the sound goes around. I can always be found and you need never fear. This is better than I planned, it will ring across the land, ringing loud and clear. Oh, out your bell will peal when you're not in the hoopmobile And we will bend an ear So we can tell where you are, whether you be near or far When you dig a dee-dong for all of us to hear Cos the sound goes around and you can always be found Whether you be far or near When I dig a dee-dong for all of you to hear When you dig a dee-dong for all of us to hear Ah, oh, hoobie galooby, my bell must have arrived. I can't wait to try it out. <laughs> How hoobie groovy is this? Oh. Yeah, you'll definitely know where to find me if I ring this. <laughs> hey. Just imagine when I'm out collecting. Mm -hmm. Here I am, out collecting. And, oh, wait a minute, this is... Um, hang on. There we are. <clears throat> oh, and, uh, oh, no, this is no good. Why? Why, 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 oh, why? Oh, why? Why, 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 why? Oh, why, why? I need two paws free when I'm collecting. I can't carry a handbell with me. <laughs> I do like it, though. <laughs> oh, dear. What are we going to do now? Hubba, 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 hubba. Shush, 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 Groove, Groove. It's hubba, hubba. It's really... oh, sorry. Never mind, Groove. A tiddly peeper sent me a story which just might ring your bell. <laughs> Take a look. Vinegar Tom lived on a sailing ship. All the sailors loved him, but Pip, the cabin boy, loved him most of all. Now, on this ship, there was a big, loud bell called Bertram. He was rung three times a day for meals. Dong! Ah. Dong! <laughs> dong! Each time Bertram Bell was rung, Vinegar Tom was so frightened that he hid. He tried to meow, but he was so scared that no meow would come out. So he just shook with fear. Then Pip would spend hours looking for him. This made the captain very cross. The cat will have to go. <gasps> no. He wastes so much of your time. Pip sadly started to tidy up the galley. He opened a drawer and there inside was a tiny bell on a blue ribbon. Once she had been worn round the neck of a very pretty lady. But now everyone had forgotten about her. Pip had a great idea. He took the bell out of the drawer and hung her round Vinegar Tom's neck. A few minutes later, 
Birchum bell was rung. Dong, 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 dong. Vinegar Tom ran and hid as he always did. He tried to meow, but nothing came out. He just shook with fear. But as he shook, the little bell tinkled. Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Pip heard the tinkle and rushed to find Vinegar Tom. Everybody cheered. And from that day on, Pip could always find Vinegar Tom because of the little tinkling bell around his neck. That's it! I can wear a bell around my neck just like Vinegar Tom. Both my hands will be free for collecting and you'll be able to hear me wherever I go. <laughs> now all you need is a cat's bell. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I've got something in my collection of things that tinkle that'll be just perfect. <laughs> things that clang. That can go in there. Things that wear. That's no good. Things that tinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Groove! That is hoobly groobly. Yeah. Let me put it on you. Yeah. <laughs> Tickles. <laughs> Not too tight, Tula. There. <laughs> yes! I think we've done it! Now, you two go to the other end of the hoobmobile and I'll tinkle my bell and you come and find me. Sounds like yeah. a plan to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> <sighs> Is he going to tinkle that bell or not? Tula! Ivor! It's Groove! <gasps> ah, there you are. Why didn't you come to look for me? Oh, um, we didn't hear the bell. Well, I was tinkling it like this. We still didn't hear it. It's not loud enough. Hoobo <sighs> doop hoobs. Still having trouble? Mm. One bell's too heavy, another's too awkward, another's not loud enough. Why don't you go and visit the Tiddly Peeps again? I'll bet there are some nearby who could help. Right. Come on, Groove. Never give up. Yeah. <laughs> Hoobble doop tiddly peeps! Hoobble doop groove! What are you doing? We're looking at pictures of animals. Animals? How hooby groovy is that? <laughs> what kind of animals? All sorts. Do you mind if I have a look? No, of course not. Yeah. What's that? That's mountain goat. Oh. A mountain goat? <laughs> and what's that around his neck? That's its bell. So the farmer knows where it is all the time. Hooby galooby! That's oh. just what I'm looking for. It's big enough to make a noise, but it'll leave my hands free for collecting. <gasps> where can I get one? We don't have a goat, Bill. Oh. But we do have a cowbell. A cowbell? What's that? It's one of these. My gran went to Switzerland and she brought it back for us. Hooby galooby! That's perfect! Ivor, Tula, do you see that? Ask Hubba Hubba to order us one from Hoobnet. <laughs> this could be the bell for me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tilly Peeps. You've been hoob loads of help. I'd better get back to the Hoobmobile now and see if it works. Hoobble Toodle Do. Hoobble Toodle Do. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, oh, the cowbell's arrived. <laughs> Isn't it hoobly groobly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Wait right here. <laughs> oh, it's just got to work this time or we don't have an answer for Hoob News. Right then, first I need something to collect. Ah, that lovely stone will do. 
and then I will pretend that I am lost. <clears throat> oh, help me! I am lost! I am lost! And then I'll ring me bell. It worked! We hear you, Groove! It's time for Hoop News! <laughs> Say the bells of St Margaret's Pancakes and fritters Say the bells of St Peter's Two sticks and an apple Say the bells of Whitechapel Pokers and tongs Say the bells of St John's No, stop, stop Th Why? That's not how it goes But it's fun <laughs> But it's wrong Ooh. Oranges and lemons Say the bells of St Clemens I owe you five farthings Say the bells of St Martin's When will you pay me Say the bells when I grow rich, say the bells of Shortridge. When will that be? Say the bells of Stepney. I really don't know, says the great bell of Bow. That's not better. No. Hubba, 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 hubba. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hoobs, are you ready to give me your Hoob news for my Hoobopedia? We're ready! Then take it away! Hoobble doop whoop! To all you hoobs out there, welcome to Hoob News, the new show for hoobs everywhere. I'm Ivor. I'm Tula. And I'm Groove. And today we've been asking the question... What can Groove take with him when he's out collecting that will make a loud noise? The first thing Hubba Hubba showed us were lots of big bells. We decided that Groove needed a bell. But what sort of bell? It turns out a big bell weighs as much as a full-grown Hubo Cacto Spiker. That's much too heavy to take out collecting. So we went to see the Tiddly Peeps. And they told me all about doorbells. But a doorbell didn't work because the bell rang inside the Hoopmobile so it didn't tell us where Groove was. Then Roma told us about handbells, and Groove decided that that was definitely the bell for him. Except that it wasn't. It only left me with one hooby paw to collect with. Then Hubba Hubba found a story about a cat who wore a tinkly bell round his neck. But the tinkly bell was too quiet. So we went back to the tiddly peeps. They were looking at pictures of animals that all had bells round their necks. And that helped us find just the thing. <laughs> a cowbell! It's the perfect bell for me to take with me when I'm out collecting. Ding dong! So it's thanks once again to Ivor, Tula, Groove and Roma for giving hooves everywhere a little peep into the world of peeps. Remember, wherever you are, have a nice day and hoobble toodle do. Hoobble toodle do. Right, that's it. I'm off collecting now. I'll ring my bell if I get lost. Oh. oh. <laughs> now, what we ought... Groove, are you lost already? No, I just like ringing my bell. <laughs> And Rome is somewhere far away The motorettes are singing We keep the engine spinning Hoop, hoop, hooray! The hoop, 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 hoop